very, uh, uh, really excited to I was, see yeah. them. I was saying uh, in the last game, Sila Reyes, I'm so know. excited with the, the rookies that we've had and their development in the next coming years. We're going to have some great volleyball matches here and maybe some personal rivalries also in the offing. 16-5 is our score. Ateneo looking good in this set. We're back with you here live on Studio 23. Replay some balls, Sky Cable, Channel 34. Ateneo right now in the lead, 16-5. to 5. With Eliza Valdez serving for Ateneo. Two rookies in the top 10 in terms of uh, serving. And the number one player is a rookie in Aragalang. Uh, Valdez is at number five. So much uh, promise. So much ahead of them. For all of them. Now really performing. And we're having, we're having an incredible year, Moji, not only in terms of the games, the attention, you know, uh, online response. Uh, on Twitter or on yes. the forums, it's it's got it's after the Lasal games, it's trending, trending. Yeah, yeah. and the, the USD game. FAU game, yeah, and the USD Ateneo game with Lauren Lentin was the star. Yeah. So uh, these ang makikinabang talaga dito. Well, other than the, mm -hmm. in general the sport of volleyball, which you and I love very much, the players also yes, definitely, and maybe the youngsters right oh, now who are in high school so and are really aching to play now. And, you know, looking forward to college, wherever, wherever it is that they're going to end up. We see another combination play. Here. He's now a volleyball is getting the attention that it really deserves. Siguro sabi ni Coach Parley kanina, 15 yung goal. Baka 10, binabaan na lang ngayon. Babawi. Reverse set. Tinabrida, masyado mataas. Yun, nag-react si Coach Boy. Kasi they've been going for mga pushes, top balls. Okay. Big ball lang ah, mabagal pa rin. So, Umakit pa. Uh -huh. The purpose uh, usually of a power tip or dink ball, yes. yung mga pushes, right to disrupt the timing of the blocker. Yeah. No? And it's really a fast return. Correct. Yeah. A quick return to the opponent. Ano, buhugot na si Coach Boy. This is far from how they performed in the first set. And Caballero now will come in. For Nebrida. Yeah, also, not getting a lot of playing time under Coach Boy compared to previous years. The lead is 12, 18, serving six. Ateneo Lady Eagles without coach Roger Gorea. Now he's on the second try. A little faster on the push. Caballero, Lazaro, Kainglet, off speed. Chance ball for Ateneo here. Ferrer goes back to Gretchen Ho. Oh, with the runner. All too familiar. Running in of Gretchen Hall. Not too far, but, but effective. Why? Because she knows where to put those balls without the ankle of that hit. She runs like a basketball player. I remember I was saying that that was uh, originally her first sport. She does have that jog of oh. a basketball player with the shoulders. May pagka rugged na ball. Parang, no? Nineteen serving six here. Zier Vasho taking her time. Wonderful serve. Set back by Masangkai. Ferrer will go for the quick. Oh, uh, quick attack. Well executed, but good enough for a point. This is the time that they, you know, if you're at the you gotta tweak your game already yes. going into the more crucial matches. Because some of the mistakes that you make against, let's say, and this is no disrespect, but to the UPs and the, the lower ranked teams, mm -hmm. you cannot m make when you face, True. you know, uh, the Lasals or the FEUs. Or this is actually where you polish those yeah. weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. The you know, water that you know, yeah. you've been uh, having, towards, uh, especially towards the second, uh, end of the second round, the tayo, something that you have uh, aided. And lately, what Ateneo has had problems with, even in their wins, is their reception. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons, probably, that Jem Ferrer has gone down to the third best, and now the second best, but she was at the third best setter, is because oh, she's yeah. not getting also... That's good first balls. Because we know what she can do. We've already you seen it. You look sayang. Can you just imagine? 
if they have the close to perfect first calls. Si Jem can do so much. Yeah. And uh, Plus now na yung spikers mo, nakakompleto mo na. Everybody's really attacking well. Just as we mentioned, nice. Lazarov is receiving ah. that. They really have had issues mm -hmm. receiving this year. We hear that from Coach Rod Roger during the timeouts in previous games, ah. even in wins, which has affected everything else. And that's not to say anything bad uh, to Giselle C, who's now the number one uh, setter. Giselle also has a very bright future in the UAP oh. now well, playing in her second year. Of course, we say that because you know, ano, going to the semifinals, we all know that the, the reception, your first ball is so important. Diba? That starts off everything. So, useless eh. If you don't have first balls, alam mo na na laging open yung palo. Diba? Wala nang mga combination plays masyado. Uh -huh. Kachi. Caballero. Oh, oh Caballero with the off-speed, fooling everybody else. But yung tamang-tama lang yung off-speed uh -huh. niya, no? Ganun talaga dapat. dapat. Just over the blocker. And this is Perfect. how it went. Perfect. Okay, let me too slow for that uh, support. Now, Ito na in, in yeah, oh, no, reception error, in, in, in the reverse conversation, one of the reasons why Giselle C is on top of that is because Coach Nes Familar has always been, he has always put premium on defense and reception. That's correct. And the, plus, see Coach Nes, if uh, you remember, is a setter in himself. Yeah. So, you mga little things, that's why if you always have a good setter. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Semana, oh, yeah. A lot there. of them get... Uh, talagang, uh, I think he puts emphasis, he knows the importance of a good setter. And when you talk to him, he really wants a smart setter. Lagi. So, Ganyan siya. Gusto niya yung thinking. And the important thing is the setter receives the ball the right way. Yon, the, easier for yeah, the setter, correct, diba? Right. And alam mo naman natin din ang floor defense ng FU and their reception has always been good. 22-11 is the score. Ateneo can just put this away. And Vasher from the back line. Martinez mishandles that. Look at that last play. Yes. A very smart play coming from Chef Ferrer. Nakita niya magulo yung nasa harapan niya. Walang ready for the kill. Gives it to Vasher on the second row. And Vasher obliges with a point. 23, serving 11. Tapos po na lang kay Jimo, mover pa. Nay, nung nalukod mo. Hindi pa ka na tinamaan ako na yung load mo eh. Nag-umpisa sa ano yan, 25 yan. Naka... Anim yung kalaban, tayo isa lang. Ha? Ah, sige. Wala yun, wag mo nang blakayin. Dalawan, dalawan! Ha? 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 Here on Saturday for the women's matches at 2 p.m. UE versus 23-11 is the score Ateneo here at the arena. Ateneo Ateneo ahead by 12. Saturday, Looking to make it 2-0 with Fiel Saint Kainglet. Are there more moments that you want Ateneo to go for the kill? If you are uh, Coach Bard or even Coach Roger. Because mm. this is what's missing from them. The yung galit. The yung, 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 uh, nahihiyas to keep up with the fight. They have such a factor. Eh. Well, well uh, na kailangan nilang matanggal. Siyempre, sabi mo nga, if you're going up against, let's say, DLSU, hindi talaga pwede yung... Ayun, naibabaon ka talaga oh, nun. Diba? Pag, uh, pag... Iba eh, nakikita mo yung difference on the attitude inside the court. It's really important. That is the axe that we've been talking about. Even in previous years, you know, for the LaSalle teams. By the way, Ateneo's next assignment will be the very dangerous Adamson University Lady Falcons, whom, by the way, if you guys remember, in the first round, led Ateneo two sets to one. Ateneo just came back and won that came back one out. Big yes, time. correct. So they're, you know, they they need all the wins that they can get, as we said. And plus, Adams. Ooh, knows that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a powerful kill coming from Valdez. To finish the set, yes, you were saying about Adamson. And the, of course, Adamson knows that they need that win also. to climb up that standings. And they also siempre nila it is lodge ng Ateneo, so that's going to be an exciting one. Uh, while the UE Lady Warriors will go up against the NU Lady Bulldogs next. 
on Saturday. Right now, on target, 25-12 ang ating score sa ating second set. Back in a moment.